Ever found yourself too tired to turn your phone over to check the time? Too lazy to press the power button to reveal the lock screen clock? If you have answered yes to any of that, then this review is just for you. This is the Unihertz TikTok review. So let's start with slow unboxing. Unihertz TikTok came to review in this white box without labels. But these are just the first examples for us reviewers, since the phone has not yet gone on sale officially. So let's take a look on the content of this box. There is our new smartphone. In the box we find the USB Type-C adapter and charge cable. Then we have a USB Type-C OTG adapter for 3.5mm audio cables. And a SIM card tray removal tool is also included. And for the end we have left with the fast charger itself. This pre-sale test pack did not include any documentation but the released version undoubtedly will. Well that was contains of this box, so let's move on the smartphone itself. The Unihertz TikTok is described as a unique 5G dual screen Russian smartphone, but while most devices with a dual screen form factors have a folding displays, the TikTok has a two district screens, the main display and a smaller circular subscreen on the back. So this is the TikTok from Unihertz, which is, as you can tell, a Rajat phone, but with a very special feature. That's right, we have a rear display, almost a smartwatch looking display here on the back of this phone. But before we get into the rear display, which is really the highlight of this phone, let's talk a little bit about the phone itself. It comes with a Dimensity 700 chipset on the board along with 8GB of RAM memory and 128GB of internal storage and the 5G capabilities with a 6.3 inch full HD display which does look nice and crisp and with really decent colors. Yes, it is LCD but it still looks great. And to not forget to mention, a notification LED is also here. In addition to a really great interior design which is not only visual but also simply superior to the touch. Here on this side we also have two red buttons that can be shortcut for any application or function in the mobile phone you choose. Great thing, TikTok 5G runs on Android 11 OS with a near stock UI and it works very smoothly. It also comes with a large 600 mAh battery, latest Wi-Fi Bluetooth 5.1 and the 5G band support, NFC and even AR blaster we found on the top of this phone, that's nice. FM radio is also here. The phone comes with a 48 megapixel rear and 8 megapixel front cameras. When we talk about cameras, now let's look at the photos and the sample videos that we make with this phone. And they look pretty good for me. Let's see.
In general, the smartphone functional industry style, black color shim, trended corners, effective use of plastic, steel body is what we expect from a tough smartphone that means IP68 and durability standards for a typical radio phone that you might see on my channel. So what gives? Why is this phone so unique? It's because of that rear display and not only it is a circular display like a smartwatch. It is a touch screen display, so as you can see, you can actually circle to various modes here, music, camera, and you have the watch face itself. And if you may not know, I've got a really into watches these past years, and you can see on my hand now, this is a kind of cool combination of my passion for phones and watches all combined into one phone, it's pretty cool and you have a number of settings for the sub-screen that you can adjust. So double tap to turn it on, flip to screen on, you can have it on with the main screen. So when the main screen is on, this will be on. 16 of different clock faces here that you can use for the back. Here as you can see you can also create your own. You can also see and choose a background and you can take a photo if you wanted to use and you can take your own photos for this feature. Availability to use music and you can actually choose which app we actually select for music here and you can pretty much adjust your music on the back of the phone. You want to take a rear display selfie, you can actually do that. It which is that Unihertz TikTok, let's face it, it's something that you can't do with many phones on the market except for the Mi 11 Ultra, so that's a pretty outstanding feature as well. This subscreen is 360 by 360 pixels, yes it is LCD, but it will do the job. It's pretty much going to be the same type of display you see on the lot of smartwatches here on the back of this Unihertz tank top. I have a couple of rugged phones in the past, so it seems like a good idea to check just how robust the Unihertz TikTok is. Primary the TikTok is IP68 volt resistant. As the description reads, it's no harm to make a splash on your phone. TikTok is able to withstand dust, dirt and sand and survive up to 1.5 meter underwater for up to 30 minutes. The big draw for this phone, beyond its robustness and waterproofing, is a secondary display, known as a subscreen. It is a circular display over an inch in diameter, as well as displaying the time, the screen doubles as call indicator, notification window, music player and camera. Quick and easy task that you don't need to pick up your phone for a perfect for this display. You can also leave your phone face down and check the time in many things or perhaps get a quick glimpse of the time. There is a screen timeout setting in place so the display isn't permanently turned on. The two red buttons on the side of the phone add extra functionality to device. By the default, the lower red button wakes the subscreen from a standby mode, while the upper button toggles the torch. And if you don't like the 16 pre-installed clock faces, you can also set your own background. With impressive benchmark and a sturdy robust casing, the unheard stick talk impressed and the subscreen clock might be the deal breaker. As all you guys, if you wanted a really low cost way to get a rear display on the back of the phone, this may be an option to consider. And this Unihertz TikTok is a kickstart mode right now. I will share you the link in the description of this video. Definitely go check in it for pricing and availability. Thanks once again to Unihertz for sending to this one. Hit me up in the comment what are your thoughts of this phone and do you like the idea of having watch face on the back of your phone? Is this just a gimmick or is this something that could actually be useful for the daily needs? Hit me up in the comment section, I'd love to hear about it. And that will be all for today, see you soon in the next video, bye.